So before the blessings, yeah, just to reflect on a few things. A similar question as you ask you being you, you was uh, practicing uh, Christianity and uh, and now practicing Buddhism, and now you want to dedicate your merits and you feel confused. <laughs> How can we do that? Huh? So that similar question was asked uh, even yesterday to me and, and not only this time, uh, even at the time of the Buddha, mm -hmm. uh, one Brahmin uh, that he never practiced Buddhism but he, have, he had heard about the Buddha and Buddha's teachings. But he was practicing Hinduism, right? Brahmanism, not Hinduism. At that time, doesn't exist uh, Hinduism. So Brahmanism, and he was a Brahmin himself. So he came to ask a question to the Buddha, and he said, "In my religion, whenever someone dies, then uh, we do the merits, give uh, donations, and uh, give offerings to the priests." and uh, we will dedicate merits to uh, departed one and I am not sure whether they will get it or not hmm. and now what do you think in your understanding whether they will receive it or not yeah? and in very short Buddha told him his name was Janusa yeah? Brahmin there are people who passed away and they will receive your offerings, your dedication. Uh, and there are people or beings, they will not receive it. And it doesn't matter which religion you are belonging to. <laughs> huh? It's like a law of karma. Mm -hmm. you know, whether you believe uh, in, in the Buddhist teachings or not, when you do something, the return will be yours. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to take a result of it, your action and the reaction. That's the same with that. And uh, when, uh, he, when the Buddha said there are beings who will receive and there are beings who don't, then he further asked, the Brahmin further asked, who are they who receives and who are they who don't? Uh, and the Buddha said, there are beings those who are born in a higher states uh, or any states existence they will not receive apart from only one existence it's called petas and within the petas again there are like a, there are many countries they don't receive it there is one particular country not uh, 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 one particular country in that country again not everyone will receive it only one particular city will get this fund <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and that's called peta paradhat peta if your relatives passed away and reborn in that particular existence then they will receive and the rest of other places wherever he uh, they uh, the being reborn will not receive either if he becomes if we reborn in the heavens humans uh, animals and the uh, below the peters and then uh, below the it's called the uh, nirayas then they will not receive okay within this below the peters there is uh, below the uh, animal realm there is a peta realm and in that peta realms and one of the uh, particular uh, group only they will receive. And then uh, the Brahmin further said, well, in that case, how do I know that my uh, relatives who passed away will be born in there? Then it will be wasted. Then the Buddha said, we never know how long we have and how many lives we have uh, taken in the past eons of a time, so thousands of thousands of uh, past lives that we had and within those uh, lifespan 
there will be someone from that particular time will reborn and that we are sending so they will receive and uh, <coughs> and that's how uh, the transferring of merits to the departed one uh, takes place and now it is intending to that person so that's why the intention is a matter it doesn't matter which faith or which culture and which tradition we belong to it's our intention and then giving it and then we have to understand the true meaning of how we give and then uh, taking this opportunity making a merit to offer transfer it to someone who a, a loved one who passed away then again it is our time see taking uh, that incident we have uh, got this an opportunity to do merits for us right so we are making for ourselves now so we are making a new karma for ourselves mm -hmm. so this is our opportunity to do it and in the meantime there is a saying uh, the buddha in a uh, buddha's uh, some uh, advises that when someone does something the action during this lifetime that defines their destiny so then why do we have to do merits for them because they are going to receive their own action reaction mm -hmm. Right? And in this case, we have to understand that the seed that a particular person has sown, the seed, the action and the sown, it needs some fertilizer. Mm -hmm. and it's like a planting a tree. So like uh, your grandfather planted a tree and now it's your responsibility to keep it you know, safe and grow it. So that's why you have to water it, you have to fence it, and you have to weeding it. And only then it sprouts. So that's why <laughs> our action to do it, in one hand we are watering the tree, on the other hand we are making our good karma for ourselves. Yeah? And so with that we are having a double benefit. <laughs> and also there may be some like a yeah, <clears throat> uh, understanding that when we are giving, we are not getting anything. Uh -huh. But when we are, when we understand it, that moment when we are giving, we have receiving it too. So that's why it's the intention that counts mm -hmm. to do. And this question is not just uh, happening now; uh, it's been for ages. Uh, uh, from the time of the Buddha and Buddha always say it's intention the way you do and we have to understand uh, that it is not that uh, once you reborn uh, once you died from here and then when we're transferring a merit he will receive it well, may not be he, he, he may not be needed he may be reborn in the heavens then he doesn't need it uh, he's more <laughs> wealthier than we are <laughs> like that so with this offering, uh, wherever he is, if he is in a position to receive uh, this offering, may he receive it. And um, if he is in a difficult position, may he free from there. And in the meantime, with this offering, may you be happy, peaceful, successful in your life. And that leads to the may this be cause to lead to the liberation, free from all kinds of suffering. For the water and transferring a merit, yeah?